Alright, hello and welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. I wasn't going to initially record to today, I was going to leave it at one episode. But I'm in a good mood after beating Newcastle in the third round of the Carabao Cup. So we're going to record another one. I'll probably eventually regret this and we'll end up losing this somehow and fall off the top of the table, which we're currently at the top of, um, on goal difference. In fact, it's only one goal that's now separating us from Burnley. We've conceded a couple more, but we've also uh, scored a few more as well, so kept ourselves top. Our top scorer in the league is unfortunately Diogo Yota, who is injured for a while now. So we've got Haaland who's going to be rotating in as our main striker. If you haven't seen the previous couple of episodes, we've tried to uh, keep going without Yota. And so far, we've done well. We have done well, in my opinion. But we just need to keep going with it and not capitulate. Who was I going to bring on? My brain is having an... a brain fart. There's meant to be someone here, isn't there? Van Damme. Oh, why? oh yeah, but Van Damme's on the... Put Van Damme on the bench. Okay. Why is my brain so dumb sometimes? It's very concerning. We'd have a single striker on the bench. So our strike uh, strike partnership, or our strikers, Greenwood... Well, our, our uh, designated strikers, Greenwood, Hlosek, and uh, Haaland. We're just going to have to keep rotating until we get bloody... Um, Yota back, unless we can try and maybe get one for the Youth Academy. Or uh, see if we can get one in January. Don't know. Is this our last game of September? I'm going to quickly check. If it is, then we're getting one step closer to uh, to January. Just my own state of mind. I'm going to check. Yep. And then... Oh. 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 Boy. Oh. we got Burnley next. I don't want to lose. I don't. I, I can't want us both, to, both teams to win just to make it interesting. So we've got to put our whole effort in here. I've forgotten the name of the Hull City Stadium, so I'll go and Google that quickly. Even though we had it, we played against them last season, it's just my brain doesn't remember things. Next up in Bradford Title Road is obviously Hull, we don't need to read that. Let's take a look. That's the team of the week from uh, the other championship game. No real news. No news about us beating Newcastle. Although we did, I'll show you the calendar quickly. I don't think I showed you guys at the start of the episode. So, we, like I said, we did take on Newcastle last time in the Carabao Cup. We were away at Newcastle and we won 1 0. Our next game in Carabao Cup, if you're interested, anyone, is Crystal Palace in the round of 16 on the 26th of October. So, that should be an interesting one. I was kind of hoping it would be Man United, to be honest, but that's fine. Man United, I believe, are facing. I don't know who they're facing, but I think they're facing. Uh, Red. It might be Reading, actually. I don't know. But anyway. I'm hoping we can come against Man United at some point in that cup. I don't know, but we'll just get into this game now. I'm going to stop rambling on. You guys are probably like, oh, come on, just get into the game. I'm like, yeah, okay, sorry. So, this is our squad. The big 11, the usual 11, or, well, pretty much the usual 11. We'd have a different formation if it was the full 11, and we wouldn't have um, um. Yota injured. We're at the KCOM Stadium. I'm pretty sure that's the actual stadium name, but I will go and Google it just in case, because, I don't know. For uh, perfectionist reasons. Uh, we'll just keep the Burnley match. I don't really care too much about the others. I just want to hear how Burnley do against Swansea, but we've got Rossi in goal, Kikachi and Sterling as the full-backs, Tomori and Tadebo as the centre-backs. I feel kind of bad dropping Hennessy because I had such a good game last time. Carbonero and Greenwood are the centre-mids. Van Damme is also there with them. We've got Banks on the left. Logic on the right, Hald in the middle, and uh, three points to go and collect from Hull. Without further ado, let's head into it. And let's try and keep ahead of Burnley, ahead of our clash with Burnley. If they win, we have to win, because if that, that means we'll be on the same points that make it interesting heading into that game. The problem is, I'd love to have Yota for that game, and we don't have him, so that's a bit of an issue. I just hospital past Green with a beast there. Anyway, at KCOM's, I'm just going to assume it's the KCOM Stadium. I'm too lazy to Google. Seems like it is. Tigers hosting the Bantams. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Hull City, and they take on Bradford City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. 
Oh, we're the dominant force in the first five minutes. That'd be great. Come on, City chant, but is it for Hall or is it for Bradford? I'm assuming it'd be for Hall because they're the home team, but I'm going to pretend it's for Bradford. Speaking Hall of Hall, City. let's take a look at their lineup. They've got Eric They're up front, just media, just Eric, nobody else, just Eric. The uh, they've got quite a good defence, to be honest. They've got a good goalkeeper, Henriksen as well. They've got a couple of good names on the bench too. Tough as all, he's a strong defender. Lee High is pretty good, and McLaughlin is a decent defender. They've got Eric though. Eric's for me to watch out for. Obviously, he'll have a longer name, but he just has Eric on his kit. There is our squad. We're thinking four-three-three. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. Yep, four-three-three. We've had to switch it around just to thought we'd have enough strikers to accommodate the four-two-two, four-four-two, I should say, anymore. We've had to switch it around while uh, Yota is out. I'm really hoping on the next scout report a striker comes through. Whether it's, whether he's good or bad, I might just sign him anyway. Just for extra cover until Yota comes back in and bin him off. Unless he's a 15 year old, and that would just ruin the plan. But anyway, Hull City going to be kicking off this fixture at the KCOM Stadium. Can we stay unbeaten or will we suffer our first loss? In 90 minutes, we'll know. We've immediately got the ball with Vlosek, so that's a decent start. Carbonero, Greenwood, Sterling out on the right. Vlasek looking to make a run, perhaps, and uh, we've picked out that run. Vlasek is past, past Haaland, and Greenwood couldn't get there. We're going to get through enough of it. Banks now. We're going to take the throw. He's got absolutely no single option here. We just have to wait until someone's in space. Oh. Catch is going to take the throw instead, and Banks is going to run away out of space. But what, what can I do here? I guess that's that's an option. Carbonero. Wait all that time just to give the ball away. We won it back with Van Dam though, so it's a positive. Carbonero, Haaland, Greenwood. Oh, good save from Ingram. Reached out and caught it. Tadibo picks up the ball. Hmm. Hmm. I get a hmm in the chat. Oh boy. Banks is tracked all the way back here. Lehigh has crossed off the pitch. He was talking about how many matches we played, how many goals we scored just there. I wasn't paying full attention. so just tried not to concede against the Tigers early on. Rossi launch up the pitch towards our beanpole, who has been beaten to it. Because the defender went in front of him. Hendrickson, Marcus Hendrickson, Stephen Kingsley. Now they're on the scent of something positive, and that puts them in position. Offside. Yep. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Eric went behind Tadebo and Tamori. Tadebo ran forward as well, which is quite a smart strat. Pass it off here to Tadebo, just a short one, make it easy for ourselves to not mess it up. <laughs> Kakache, Carbonero, Haaland, Carbonero, back into Haaland. Oh, what a save from Ingram. Possibly, well, it could have been and probably should have been 1 0 there. Unfortunately, not to be, at least not yet. Kakache winning the ball here and keeping possession, hopefully. Well, he does. As it was, Have an arrow. That's, oh, that was obvious. That's too to obvious. <laughs> that was way too obvious. Cut off out by Hloshek, Greenwood, Carbonero. I wanted that to go for to Haaland, but it's gone to Banks instead, so we've got to try something a little different now. Still passing it around with authority. Greenwood loses it. Unable to keep the ball that time. I want to play Haaland through as if you get around the defence. And speaking of getting around the defence, it looks as if well, it's not going to happen for that for Hull City because we well 
stopped. But it was for a second. Turned off the Nottingham Forest scoreline, but I guess it just puts off back on. Okay, Haaland can get round. Bit concerning consider his strength stat. We've got quite a few too many people forward here, not enough many not enough many people. That was in English, not enough people back. Rossi comes across though. And back in to play. Goes the ball. Carbonero. Lad, le le legit. Why? Why? What sort of three ball is that? Why are the fucking three balls so dog shit this year? At least aim towards a player somewhat. Don't just aim it straight at a defender. <laughs> at least make it look as if you're trying to get it to your teammate there. Banks are going to close down. God, they've got so many fucking people here. Not where I am to pass, so that's obviously going to break down. Decided, fuck it, you've had enough time passing around, you're going for your attack now. I'll take a draw, I suppose, but I would love a win here. Especially if Burnley are winning their game. Andrew Banks. Still probably pretty exhausted from all the games he's been playing, and that was a horrible cross. Really sucked. Henriksen. Could be a chance on for us there, but it's now off. Intercepted once again. How many interceptions are getting better? Carbonero. Greenwood. I don't know, can we? Apparently not. Oh, we can. Highland still has the ball. <laughs> Why have Hull got the entire fucking population of their town back? Or I guess their city, because of course I'll say. Why is everyone back for Hull? They need that many people back. Catchy closes it down and keeps in possession. I'm sorry for the heavy breathing down the mic. Just so frustrated. I know we haven't created enough because he, he's jumping on my back to take the ball from me, literally. What the fuck can I do? Sterling wins the ball. Something, I suppose. But look how many fucking cunts have got back. I can't get the ball. I'm on the screen. On the screen. They've got, I, I don't know if they're playing five at the back, but it feels like they fucking are. I don't think they are. I think the formation was like a four something. But I can't remember, to be honest. It's with Hendrickson. And Batty on the ball. Todibo closes down the attack and we can bring it away here. Oh, a lovely ball. Out strength, of course. Wins Possession the ball back though, and we tackle on one player. There. Well they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Might as well give it a go. I can't it's the best chance I'm probably gonna get. Carbonero took the took the shot on anyway. Give himself a bit of space, thought hell I'll take a shot, might as well. And it's a very good save from Ingram once again. Oh, we had some early chances and that's our latest one. Corner from Ploshek to be delivered. Green with the target. Oh, sorted by Hull. I love this game. At least he didn't touch it, I guess. I thought he had, and that's why I got mad a little bit. This looks promising. Haaland can't keep the ball. Van Damme the gets the ball back. Time. Greenwood. Banks. Look, their whole team is their whole te literally their whole whole team physically. The whole team is there. In to give them the lead, maybe. Just shoot it. Don't touch it, Greenwood. Just fucking take the shot straight away. Why would you take a touch there? I didn't fucking tell you to. Four and a half minutes and into injury time of the first half, we're moving to have two. Why the fuck does he not just shoot there? That's one nil if he just shoots. Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack league. Yeah, he's like a shadow of his usual self. As nil we nil, though. Going into the break. And I feel like that's how it's going to end right now. Their goalkeeper's been good, their defence has been strong. In, I don't know if we can get fucking past Ingram. <laughs>
I just want to see the Burnley score. They're probably winning like 3 0 accounts. 1 0. Okay, they're still winning though, is my point. Other results are there. Leeds drawing, Cardiff winning their game. They might come up and be a problem soon, I don't know. But anyway, that's how the team looks. Van Dam and uh, Banks are absolutely buggered, but we'll go into the second half and just start it off with them and see the how much effort we can get out of them. Each other again as the second half commences. A real opening now. Uh, no, the, no, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I just immediately broke through, and yet he's still able. He's on one. He's on one. Ingram, I'm signing him next season. What a save! Holy shit! If this is a if this is no, one prime example of a goalkeeper carrying their team, this is it. For real, because. This could be 2 or 3 nil, but Ingram has absolutely just saved the fuck out of Hull. Come on cross to the evil if tomorrow isn't going to get there. Holy hell, are you kidding? If that works. Uh, yeah, if that had worked, I would have been very upset. Carbonero, Greenwood. Alan. Join us on EA City. Wasn't even Cabernet, it was Greenwood. I need to yeah, cough. Really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. Breaking at pace. Defenders need to cover. A chance to whip it in. Found an example of a counter attack. I was going to mute my mic earlier, but we had to do a bit of defending there. Bill Wire only had two back and they had four forward, but there you go corner anyway for the Tigers keep Greenwood away from it we don't need an own goal at this point so the corner played into the box a really not the greatest headers from the Hull man there but a real poor with his head. still a chance his teammate could have just got some sort of touch as well as well maybe completely fucked Rossi over Tafazoli gets ahead on that probably 1-0 to Hull but it didn't and, a substitution and it isn't in the offing. Van Damme going to make way now he's been putting a lot of effort in but he is buggered so we're going to bring on uh, Donald O'Leary see if he can add anything extra to the team Banks is going to have to come off at some point as well Elise has come on for Sakaria or other way around I don't know didn't see I saw those two away. names <laughs> giving it away shocker we're going to ball away are you surprised I have to say we get we get a tackle in, but there's nobody there to fucking and take advantage of it. He's given it Bank, to the opposition. O'Leary, Haaland. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Bradford City facing Burnley. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Nothing wrong with that idea. What a tackle from O'Leary! I panicked a little bit when that ball went through. I'm not going to lie, but it's a very good tackle. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. I don't know how they have six. They've got six players back already. I don't know how they've done it. I can't. I can't break through. When I do break through, they've got the best goalkeeper in the world. So, I think we're gonna have to fucking just take a point here, lads. To be honest, how did they get so many players back so quick, and then so many players forward so quick as well? Kikachi blocks across. It's really high. He could pick out a teammate. Punch that, do anything with it. Nice. Let's get it away. Make a bit of space for ourselves here on the right. Back into the middle. Plus, it's our hands offside. He's not offside. He's not offside. Mason Greenwood! Oh, I'm happy now. I thought for, I thought for all my money that Howard was offside. But he's created the opportunity for Mason Greenwood. Perfect space for Greenwood. Ingram can get to fuck with all his saves. And Bradford City go 1 0 up here. It's been so bloody difficult to get through that defence, but we've finally done it. 
thank you, Pastor Fazul. Welcome to the stream. So we go 1-0 up, 23 minutes to go. And news coming through of a goal in the Leeds United match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Leeds United. If Burnley, go two if Burnley win 2-0, though, then we'll be one equal nil. on goal difference. Cheers I don't know if they'll go top. I think he might stay top for the amount of goals he scored, though. Perhaps. I don't know. Greenwood. Greenwood. Might just need to hold on now. Greenwood needs to come off. We need him to give him a break. I'm going to have to make a couple more substitutions next time it goes out of play. Sterling, Greenwood, Vlasek. Maybe it'll cut in here for two, and perhaps. And he does! No Scott way has that worked. I'm so overjoyed. We've gone from not being able to score for ages to scoring two in quick succession. Look how many of the whole players are back in that in that little bit of I don't know what the word is, that camera angle there. On your screen there was about nine whole players and then the goalkeeper. They're so defensive and we still got through. Adam Washek with a bit of magic. Took it on his weak foot. Bottom right and it's 2 0. We've not really got an outright goal, outright top goal scorer this season. They've been coming in from everywhere. Yota's had seven, or he had seven before he got injured. Greenwood's had six. Howland's had six. Kloshik's had four. A couple of others from other players. Carbonero's had three, I'm pretty sure. Sterling's going to... Nah, man. Okay, the header from Eric is horrible. All right. I said I was going to make a substitution after the next time we're not playing. We scored, and I didn't make a substitution. All right, so Banks is coming off. I don't know who for, though. It's the only problem. Right, we're going to go for something a little bit different here for the last little while. We're going to have Kakache play left wing instead of left back. Because he can do left wing back, so why can't he do left wing, realistically? It's not going to be unorthodox here, but we kind of have to switch it around a lot because we've got a lot of games coming up and one of our strikers is injured. So It's an interesting one. We'll see how it pays off for us. We could put Vutas in left back and have Kakachi play left wing. Rossi aiming for Beanpole. Also known as Erling Brat Haaland. Anyone who wants to know his actual name. The I wanted that to go to Hoshek, so it's going to go there. Anisimov. Ah, closed down. It's Hoshek. I don't know, Hull have been okay. They've just been so defensive. I don't know how they're making attacks, to be honest. Can't keep the ball, can we? Oh, we get the ball. Okay. I'm going to put money on us getting that, to be honest. Anisimov. Flashik's in so much space. Please tell me I played that while he was onside. I did, but I'm closed down. Try to turn around Kingsley here. Back post. What the fuck was that? And how the fuck did that not go out of play? <laughs> it just hit the post there. It bounced straight back to my player. I wasn't expecting it. Payne coming off the Lehigh. Vuters, O'Leary now, Anisimov, Flushik in space, turning his man perhaps here, nope, we're going to have to go back, Anisimov, fallen to Haaland, he can't get some space for himself, Anisimov, <laughs> look how many Hull players are flooding the box, man. It's a third goal for oh, Cardiff good, City. Oh, good. Seven minutes he will come across. Flash it. O'Leary, Anisimov. Now got some space. Not the fastest player in the world, but he can get himself some space here. Maybe cross it onto Haaland's head. Not punched away by Ingram. Carbonero will give it a try. Ingram dives for it. So the answer so far, I believe, can we keep going without Diogo Yotza? The answer is yes, currently. And Haaland can make it three. No. I didn't take a heavy touch there, I just took a normal touch. And Isimov wins ahead of it, it's not going to be the turn of our players. Sterling intercepts. I'm enjoying our defence right now. Like sometimes 
they let chances through, but I love our defense. Haaland, on the up. Carbonero. Oh, come on, dude. Could have been three. Probably should have been three for being real. Bean Paul can't get there. And uh, Haller just going to have to consign themselves to another Kingsley. defeat here. And I know this is rare in the league as well, but we're going to keep a clean sheet. 2 0 victory away at the KCOM Stadium for Bradford City. Goals from Greenwood and Floshek give us the three points. Performance of a lifetime, not the greatest, but performance of a lifetime, I guess. That doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> What I'm trying to say basically it was a good performance. I'm not sure why I'm saying performance of a lifetime. It wasn't at all. Hull tried to defend the trap play for nil nil, I'm pretty sure. It felt like it anyway. But at the end of the day we broke through. And we got away with the three points. How many shots did we have though? Ten shots today on target. They had two that single shot on target. In the two episodes I've recorded today. No team has had a shot on target. So that's an interesting little stat for you. Because I recorded the Newcastle one just before this one. We've got Greenwood with a 9.2. Haaland with 8.5. Flushick with an 8.5. Carboner with an 8. Sterling with an 8. Everyone else doing somewhat decent. Had to move the captain up to left wing. <laughs> because Banks is exhausted. But hopefully it should be recovered. Because it's a full week's break now. Between now and Burnley. At least I'm hoping for that anyway. Because we need the biggest win we can get. Burnley drew one all though. Oh, 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 Swansea doing us a bit of a favour there. Giving us a bit of lead. Just in a couple the, of questions the, for you. The table. And if we beat Burnley next game, we'll go five points clear. Bradford City is unbeaten so far in the EFL Championship. How confident are, no, are you confident even to keep the streak rolling? We're unbeaten for a reason. There's a good reason why we're unbeaten for 10 matches. Our defence is rock solid. And I can actually proclaim that to be true because our defence has been rock solid. When compared to Hull City, Bradford City is considered the far stronger side. Oh, really? And with two goals scored, it's clear why. It was a whenever in doubt. You never know, to be honest. I knew the odds were in our favour, of course, but you can still consider every possibility. Especially when they're, they're playing for the nil-nil. <laughs> Quite a resounding victory today with a 2-0 score. How pleased are you with the team's performance? Defensively, incredible. Attacking, could maybe get a couple more goals. Uh, we can do even better though. We can do even better. Results like this are an expectation at this club. There's still lots of room for improvement. I'd be happier if we could pull this off every match, truth be told. At the moment, Theo, we are pretty much. The only time we've dropped points in this league so far is against Bristol City. The rest of the time, we've had wins. We haven't had a single loss, I believe, in this season yet, which is insane. Hey, Gaffer, I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me get out there to play while I'm in form. Influential performance. Your outstanding performance and your hunger to play will turn you into a role model for the rest of the squad. He's meant to be our main striker, but he's setting up more goals than he's scoring, realistically. I'm fine with that. When he's, If he's just doing something, then at least he's doing something, you know? If that makes sense. Like, he's actually contributing, is what I'm trying to say. So, by my eyesight here, if we... We've had a hell of a start, by the way. Just drink it in a little bit. If we beat Burnley... We will be the only team who will remain unbeaten in the championship. But not only that, regardless of other scores, we will go five points clear at the top of the championship. Now, this next game is a massive game early on in our season. If we win it, we put a lot of space in between ourselves, like I just said. If we lose it, we drop down to second or possibly even third if Cardiff get a win. No, it will be second. It will drop down to second if we lose. But basically, the point I'm trying to make is I don't want to lose. I want to stay top. I want to try and keep on in the first place spot for as much as I can of this season. Keep myself confident. Keep myself going till we get to the Premier League. So basically, at the end of the day, we can't lose. It goes full circle, really. Virtus is going to hopefully go up to 71 here if we can get enough the drills to put him up there. Um, actually, we should maybe train one of our younger players as well. Who else? Laganov, I think, is a lost cause. No offense, you lad. Russo could be as well. Vla oh, Vlakanov is 100% a lost cause. 19 years of age, 65 overall. Can we give one to Banks, maybe? It feels like a waste. But he could just grow on the pitch now, I think. 
I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna be my banks. He can grow as he can grow as well on the pitch now. Uh Haaland's not I want Haaland to get to eighty two. But I don't know how to push him there, because none of his stats are, you know, we'll give him we'll just give him attacking scenarios and see if he can get an A in it. Gets a C, cool. Virtus gets an F, brilliant. O'Leary is the only one with a decent result. Or well, actually Sellers have got two good results, but O'Leary grows to a 69 overall, LOL, just before the squad report comes in. So, it's an interesting one. Obviously, we're doing the squad report next episode before we take on our promotion rivals, Burnley. We've got a management offer, an international management offer from Venezuela. I've also got five players leaving on international duty. <sighs> I think you see the issue here, ladies and gentlemen. We've already got one striker injured. Two strikers will be going away at international duty. Hennessy will be uh, away, which is fine. He's a backup centre-back right now. Andrew Banks, another attacking player. He's going to be going away. Liberato Kakache, we can do without. We've got Vutus to fill in that spot. What? I don't... <laughs> There's a big striker issue here at Bradford City. And we can't really do jack shit about it until the next month of scouting update comes in. And hopefully, on the 6th, we will get another striker in and we can just immediately bring him up. We'd like to inquire about your interest in the availability in managing the Venezuela national team. I'm going to have to say no. I apologize deeply, but I'm going to have to say no. Anyway, that is going to be it, I believe, for this episode. That is what the table looks like. We are top on 28 points. Burnsley, Burnsley, Burnley, second, 26. Cardiff, third, 23rd. Nottingham Forest, after us beating them on the first day, have come back brilliantly here. They're on 22. Now Norwich and Huddersfield complete the top six. Where are Leeds? They've got to be seventh, surely. Eighth. Wow, Leeds have fallen since the start of the season. But uh, no, anyway, those are top scorers. We've got Kamano from Burnley. We've got... Yotta still up there. Greenwood, I know, has six. And I know Haaland has six as well. So they're somewhere in there. Uh, but that's going to end our episode. Like I said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Not got real much to cover towards the end of this episode. I think that's going to be it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Check the fitness quickly just before I go. Perfect. And like I said, for the third time now, hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you very, very soon when we play the biggest game of our season thus far.